Hello, hello, hello. Hoping you've had a fantastic weekend. My name is Prosper Tarovinga and I will be your host for the next 20 to 30 minutes so that we can discuss how to generate more leads and how to generate more business um, so that your business is it's profitable and enjoyable. Now, the reason why I do this is um, we run a digital agency here in Melbourne where we help, um, you know, service providers like yourself to start, scale and grow a business that is actually profitable and enjoyable. So um, in all essence, I want you to know that I viscerally believe that every business out there should be profitable and should be enjoyable and that's the reason why i give out all this free content so that you can actually start earning more money with less struggle all right so as far as today's topic is involved it's all about how you can generate uh, more business and more leads for yourself um you know so that your business is actually uh running in, in full capacity because at the end of the day without leads you can't get sales without sales you can't get the money that's going to help you have a life that's um you know um of a happier existence so these seven steps are going to be used um you know if you want to every single day so that you can actually start generating new leads and if you follow these guidelines and you actually create a plan and above all implement you will bring in more business than you could ever um know what to do with all right the reason why i do this is because first of all i want you to understand that it is a gift it is a gift to actually wake up in the morning and be able to do that which you enjoy doing that which you're actually proud of for granted at all you should not take that um you know um for for willy-nilly because the people you're going to be doing all this stuff for are people that are going to be uh, you you're working with people's businesses all right you're working with people's um you know abilities hopes and dreams and everything else that comes along with it all right so that's the reason why you have to take particular care as to how are you bringing these people towards you nobody's just going to jump onto your programs nobody's just going to jump onto your course or buy your products just because you exist all right you know a lot of entrepreneurs that i talk to they often leave with the hope that you know if you build it people are going to come if you build it customers are going to come but in today's economy um back in the time you know people used to have 15 minutes of fame but now you have 15 mean people with 60 minutes of fame so it's very, it's becoming harder and harder to penetrate the market if your heart is not in it. It's becoming harder and harder to penetrate the market if you actually do not have a pitch that people want to hear. If you actually do not have a single product that people want to buy off of you from. So like I was saying, it takes a lot more um, than just hope to get people to purchase your products or your services. So new business building practices are a must if you really want to expand. And that's the reason why you need to be watching this video right now. So I want you to type in the number one, um, you know, uh, if you're if you already have systems within your business um, that are helping you get consistent leads. I want you to type in the number two if you're struggling to get leads. I want you to type in the number three if you just don't care. All right. This will let me know the people that are actually, um, you know, concentrating and, and, and moving forward with what it is that we're creating here. All right. So, you know what I mean? Another one other thing that a lot of people don't have is a clear cut plan for growth. Some people think that you can just put out ads there and, and everybody will be tripping, stumbling and falling just to get your ads on there or just to get your, your products or whatever it is you're selling. If you don't have a clear cut plan for growth, you won't be able to see what it is you're targeting at. Many entrepreneurs that I'm talking about, they're really, um, you know, you know, you know, obsessed with creating the 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 the, the best ad or to create one up against somebody else who's within the same niche you're hardly going anywhere if you're not attracting the right kind of customer with the right kind of pain that your product or service can actually help all right so some people also never really get around to putting a plan together at all 
You know what they say? If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. All right. So if you craft a plan and it's quick and it's effective and you're actually reaching out to the people and you can actually show people that you can help them by actually helping them. Guess what? People get to know, like, and trust you. So if you're going to be watching this video, the following seven steps are going to take you um, and, 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 and start getting you more results with less struggle. All right. And at the end of the day, you're going to be left with um, a, a, a new roadmap that will infuse you with energy, enthusiasm, and a bit of a vision to see how your company is actually going to grow and how you're actually going to start getting these leads for people to actually buy from you. All right. The first thing that we're going to be talking about is focus. Focus is overrated. A lot of people do not actually focus on one product at all. All right. Focus, um, according to uh, Robert Kiyosaki, he says it stands for follow one course until successful. A lot of people dabble with different products. Tomorrow he's selling, um, you know, um, you know, maybe somebody selling um, Amazon products. Tomorrow they're selling something on eBay. Tomorrow they're selling something on Facebook. If people cannot pinpoint what they know you for, then it's going to be hard for them to keep up with what you're doing. And guess what? Grand opening, grand closing. All right. So um, I want you to have this mantra. I want you to have this one mantra within your business. Prospects all. People buy when they trust your value. People buy when they are, um, you know, that value is also applicable to them and they believe that your company is stable. People will give you time. They will give you a, a, a long rope and then they see how long it's going to take you to tie yourself. So if your company does not look like it's going to be stable, how are they going to be trusting you with their hard-earned um, investments? How are they going to be trusting you with their hard-earned cash? So if you have this strong position of focusing on just one single product, you know, it allows you to constantly check up on your services. It allows you to know what value you're actually providing your customers. And if you keep this statement in mind, do you know what I mean? You will start to notice what is it exactly that you are offering your audience? What is it exactly that you're going to be known for? Because without knowing what it is that you actually serve or without, you know, pro productizing your, your service, I promise you, you will fall for nothing if you don't stand for anything at all. All right. So, you know, it's really common for small, uh, maybe service businesses like like myself as well. That you know, the, the entrepreneur who works within that business, they feel like they have to have multiple streams of income or they have to compete with the bigger guys that have multiple products. And then eventually you you, you start dabbling on one product and, 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 and lack the customer care or lack the quality that the big guys have. Let me tell you what, the truth is, small business owners can never commit, um, you will never compete at the level of which big businesses uh, do. So stop focusing on what other people are doing and focus on what you are capable of providing, the quality that you can bring to the market, and also put out one core product that brings in your customers. And once you specialize, specialization is the biggest asset you as a small business person can ever have because if you start dabbling on many different um you know products i can see roger snyder has just tuned in what's going on brother hope you're having a fantastic weekend or you had a fantastic weekend depending on where you're tuning in from let me know if this video is of value to you and if it is please share it roger you know we always want to reach out to as many people as possible so as an entrepreneur if you specialize in the one thing all right if you do one thing equally good the world will take notice people will triple stumble and fall coming to your door to get that especially from you this is not coming from me remember in the old days we used to have people with the last name smith um you know uh, people whose work became their last name it's because that is what they were known for so the town smith or the town uh, janitor or whatever his name would then become he, he, the, his profession becomes his last name what are you known for 
Because if, if you don't know what you're known for, how do you expect your customer to know what you do or how you can help them? So you really want to make sure that you specialize in that one single thing so that you're known for that no matter how long it takes for you to stake your claim. Because like I said earlier on, if you stand, if you're everything to, if you're everything to everyone, then you become nothing to nobody. All right. So you want to be careful and make sure that you're not spreading yourself too thin. And once you have that one single product that you're working truly and hard for, keep the pitch simple. All right. Have that one word or not one word, one sentence that explains exactly what it is that you do for people. You know, my pitch is simple. I help consultants, coaches and, and service providers to package brand and, and, and market their goods so that they have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Who doesn't want profit? Who doesn't want to enjoy working in their business? So that is what I deliver. And I live up to that promise by putting out videos like this every single day. Yeah. So once you have that one project product, keep the pitch simple. When was the last time you asked somebody at a party, um, you know, what, what he does or what his company does? You know, did you get a clear response? People start telling you the functions or the features of their product. Don't you just glaze over and then just ignore what the person is saying. And by the time they finish their explanation, you've forgotten their name. You've forgotten what they say they do. You've forgotten why you should care. You know, my, my guess is probably that you, you don't even remember half the people that you meet. You know why? Because they want to be seen to be doing too many things, but eventually they don't do nothing at all in your own eyes. Our brains are not designed to carry 500 different projects at the same time. So either you're going to be making a mess of it, making a fool of yourself and not get any money in the end. You know why? Just because you want to appear as if you're doing it all. Now imagine if you've got a pitch that is presented to maybe uh, prospects that are online who've got a three second um, you know, attention span and they're not ho holding a glass of wine in their hand to distract them. It's not a pretty picture. That's the reason why nobody's coming to your website. That's the reason why nobody's buying your stuff. You know why? Because they don't know who you are, what you do, and why they should care. You know? And half of the time, if you're true to yourself, if you, I'm going to be talking about being true to yourself a little bit later on, you will keep doing the one thing up until you're perfect at it and up until you are so um, good at whatever you're doing and you become a hero within that, that um, you know, niche. So every business, your business really needs just a simple product and a simple pitch to sell it. It has to be short. It has to be concise. Um, you know, it's a message that really communicates what your message really is in like 30 seconds or less. And guess what you need that message for? It's then for you to, 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 to get the, 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 the prospect to ask you really and intrigue them to want more. Because if they haven't been, if you haven't struck their interest, what makes you think they're going to want more from you? You know? So that little pitch is going to explain, first of all, your value, what your service does and how you can actually help them and get them to understand why it is applicable to them and why they need you more than anything else. You know, so try every single time to to test your pitch on different people. Ask somebody who doesn't even know what you do to listen to to your pitch. Explain to them what your company does and then watch out for signs of them glazing their eyes or, 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 or you know, you know, trying to do something else or looking out for somebody else in the room to, to jump on, you know, because you, you may not be perfect right from the start. But if you continuously concentrate on that one product and talk about it as much as you can, guess what? Somebody will take notice. Somebody would take notice, you know, and the more you stay with that one product, the more you stay true to who you are. Everybody on the Internet right now is talking about vulnerability. Everybody's talking about authenticity. But if you've got that one product, you've got that one pitch 
It's easy for you to grow into that one product, grow into that one peach and become the best person that has that product out there. And then you can stay true to who you are. You know why? Because you are aligned to what you're selling. You are aligned to your message and you are actually aligned to who you are at the core. And people will take notice. You know what I mean? Because knowing who you are and what gets you excited or what bores you will help you reach your goals. Then you know what to go for. You know what not to worry about. You know? Because nothing will take you away from your uh, plan more than a lot of discomfort or procrastination. Because if you're doing something you absolutely do not like, you're going to keep, uh, um, you know, moving it forward and procrastinating about it. It's simple human nature to procrastinate and it's not yours. If anything is causing you discomfort, if you don't like anything, you always put it um, to the side and want to do it later. But if it's something that you absolutely love, something that you're absolutely partial to, you will wake up and do it like your life depends on it. Because it does. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like you can tell I'm, I'm, I'm in my element. I'm enjoying this. Even if nobody's watching at this particular moment. But I know this video is going to be watched years to come and I'm creating my legacy. So nothing would ever stop me from wanting to do more of what is going to help me later on in life. It's just simple human nature. We crave for progress. We crave for admiration. We crave for um, knowing that what we do is meaningful. So if you're going out there and peddling stuff that people don't want, how do you feel? It makes you feel less of a human because you're not contributing. We're here to live, we're here to learn, we're here to contribute. So if you're putting out gunk, who's, who's, who do you expect to pick that up? You know, there's quite a lot of stuff that is needed within your business every single day. You know, and some of these things, we might not enjoy doing them. Because if it's not your passion, why would you keep doing it? And if you find yourself putting things off, it's either time to start delegating or actually audit yourself and find out, is this really what I have to be doing? Because maybe you, you're sitting on a talent that you're not, you know, you know, moving on with just because somebody told you you could get money from, um, you know, a, a certain service. But it's not your thing. So stay true to who you are because you know what? People will take notice if, if you're not passionate about anything and if you're not doing it to your best ability. You know? The one thing that causes a lot of depression in people, you know why? Is when you're not in control of your life. And most of the things that show that you're not in control of your life is when you're not getting sales, is when people are not responding to your, your marketing, all of those things. It will start depressing you. Why would you want to put yourself through that? So maybe some of the tasks that you don't enjoy, hand them off to somebody else who's good at them. And if you don't feel like doing it for a very, very long time, maybe you shouldn't be doing that business in the first place. So stretch yourself, grow, figure out what you're really good at and, and stick to that. Because your best work is the only thing that people will pay for. Even if somebody does not know who you are or what you do, if they see something nice and remarkable, guess what they will do? They will try and get another person to, to, to look at it. So why don't you just go out there and create good work, create good art that people are just going to absolutely want to share, absolutely want to put out there and and the more they share it, it makes them feel good. You know why? Because they actually, your content or your stuff makes them feel good. You know? So if accounting is your nemesis, hire a bookkeeper. If, you know, um, writing is your nemesis, hire a copywriter. Always make sure your, your priority is, is A, do what you're good at. The rest you delegate or don't do at all. So we've talked about, because um, we're talking about seven, right? So we're talking about having one single product and focusing on that product. And now we're saying once you focus on that product, have a pitch that you can sell that product even in your sleep. And after you do that, try and start mapping what you're really, really good at. 
you know, find out exactly who are you serving and what do they need and how can you engage them or educate them and inspire them in the process while you're providing them with value, positioning yourself as the go-to person that would be the one that um, is going to provide them with whatever service you're putting out there. You know? You, you, know, you may find that you might be skilled in a, in, in a lot of areas, you know, and, and, and you're going for customers that are sophisticated or they're not really sophisticated. People just want good service, you know. A lot of people might want to cast the net wide by being all things to all companies or all things to all people. Almost in every case, I don't want to lie to you, however small your business might be, it's because you've narrowed your service, it's narrowed who you're actually serving, you know. Because at the end of the day, if you're going to spread yourself too thin, then nobody wants a part of that. So make sure whatever you're doing and be brutally honest with yourself. What are you good at and what are you actually serving? You know, and after you've made this intense evaluation for yourself, make sure your elevator pitch is on target. You know why? Because you're going to have to be selling your business all the time. You know? And once you've done that, you've got your product, you've got your pitch, um, you know, you, 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 you are true to yourself, you now know what you need to be serving your customer, make sure you utilize marketing tools that are actually best for you. In marketing, you need to know three M's, which are message, market, and the media. Your message is that one product, that one thing you constantly do all the time, who you do it for and why they should care. All right. And then your market is the people. Oh, sorry. Who you do it for and why those people should care to hear your message. And then the third thing is the media. How are you going to reach those people? Now, the media could be books. The media could be video. The media could be YouTube. The media could be Facebook. The media could be this live video. The media could be the blog you're reading. The media could be whatever means you're passing that message on. Now look at this, media came in at step number five of this video, meaning it's not even important if your message is not right and if your market is not set. But a lot of people go in to want to start dabbling with, um, you know, messenger bots. Um, they want to start dabbling with Facebook ads. They want to start dabbling with all these uh, cosmetic things, I call them, before they even have a message before they even know what market they're reaching out for. So it's things like that, that you really, really want to make sure that you, you're utilizing the marketing tools that are best for you. Things that you're good at. If you're good at talking, use video like this. If you're good at writing, write out a blog. If you're really, really good at um, uh, whatever medium you can use, that's, that's when you, 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 you know who you are as a person. And when you're deciding on a marketing strategy, implement one that fits your personality so that your customers are not going to be, you know, you're not going to sell yourself short, you know? Because for instance, if you're terrified about getting in front of a, a crowd, don't schedule yourself to speak uh, to a panel in the hopes of generating business, you know? Your, your, your being outside your comfort zone will show. And people don't want to go with somebody who is nervous or somebody who is not confident. Can you imagine you, you probably broke your arm and you're at, um, you know, you, you go to a, a, a doctor and then the doctor is like, mm, I'm not sure what, to, what we should do. Hey, listen, my arm is about to fall off. You better know what to do to fix it. You know what I mean? So you don't want to derail your efforts if you cannot perform within that particular, um, you know, modality that you've used to reach out to people because you only have one, um, what, what do they call it? You only have a first impression once, you know, you can't have a first impression for the second time. So identify what marketing tools you've used in the past and what has actually worked for you. All right. This is why we have it all here. The online marketing, all right? You measure and track what's working, what's not working, you ditch, what's working, you keep. So don't go on and try and do things that you, 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 you cannot, um, you know, uh, sustain. Don't go chasing waterfalls, all right? 
So let's say you're not really good on the phones. Don't go out and cold call. Start adding new ideas with a fresh perspective. And when you're selecting these marketing tools, you want to ev ev evaluate them for longevity. You want to evaluate them for, um, am I able to sustain them, especially if they're software as a service? You know, decide what is going to yield the best return for your efforts because there's no point in starting and stopping, starting and stopping. It's not going to help you. It's not going to help your clients and it's just going to be grand opening and grand closing. All right. So I want you to let me know if any of what I'm saying is making sense. Just type in the number one, um, you know, in the comments there so that I understand that we are all together right there. Make sure whatever you're doing is suited to you. It works perfectly for you and it's exactly what you want your business to be in five years, 10 years and 20 years. There's no point in you, um, you know, starting any marketing strategies that are just going to yield results in the next week. You want to do it for the long haul. All right. And pretty much once you've got all of this together, you've got your product, you've got your pitch, um, you know what I mean? You're publishing your ideas out there. You've got a profile that actually works for you. Implement and start taking action. Every single thing that you do to your business every single day will help you not only grow, but it would actually help you consolidate your, um, you know, people remembering who you are as a brand. Some people's businesses, if they stop working today on a Monday, guess what? By Friday, we would never know they existed. Right. So, and some people just stay in planning mode, you know, but it's now time to actually really dig deep down. Who are you? What are you serving? And why would people actually want to buy from you? Who really needs your products and your services? What problems and frustrations are you actually solving? Because if you ain't solving nobody's problem, why should anybody care? So establish your goals and review, you review them periodically to see if you're still aligned with who you are and how you started your business. And incremental successes will help you go away, um, you know, get ahead, you know? And whatever daily strategy you have to keep your goals and keep them going is going to help you be, do, and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And guys, the last step is just to do it, you know? Complete all the daily actions that you have to do and then do something extra to, 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 to put you closer to your goals. Because if you start going at it and then you stop, you're not letting yourself down, but letting everybody else who was hoping that you were going to help them down as well. You know what I mean? Like I said earlier on, I really believe that every online business should be profitable and enjoyable. And I actually believe that if you're an online business person, you should be able to create for and relate to those you're going to be demanding money off of. And I want that you be able to learn, um, you know, leave, learn and contribute. So as you've noticed with this video here, my work really involves me helping you um, invent remarkable products and services so that you'll be able to tell stories around them. And guess what? It is stories that people buy. All right. So naturally, I teach a, a simple four step system and um, that is designed to help, um, you know, coaches, consultants, service providers like yourself to package brand and market their services and have a business that is actually uh, profitable and enjoyable. Just type in blueprint and I'll definitely send this through to you. As you can tell, I always refer back to it because it has helped me create, you know, this business that I now have. All right. So at the end of the day, um, I really want to help you grow. I know that all that you can do is all that you can do. And I really want to help you to build systems within your business so that it starts operating on autopilot. If you enjoyed this video today, just share it with, um, you know, three other people so that, you know, you can also feel good about having done something um, nice. And if you're tuning in for the first time, welcome, welcome aboard. And um, let me know how else I can be of help to you. Don't forget to type in blueprint so that you get a copy of the blueprint. And thank you so much for tuning in today. Enjoy the rest of your week, guys.